Hi, I'm one of the engineers at All Star, and I help create the new System 7 line of headgear, as you see here. I'm going to spend a few minutes talking about some of the features that make it such a great high-performance helmet and a very, very safe helmet. First, I want to tell you a little about the history of our MVP style of headgear. MVP stands for Maximum Vision and Protection, and that's a phrase that was coined back when my father and Charlie O'Brien, former catcher for the Toronto Blue Jays, invented the so-called hockey-style helmet. About 14 years ago, they came up with this type of design right here. It's been a very, very great, extremely safe helmet over that time. It's redefined a lot of safety rules in the industry as well, especially from high school on down to the, the little leagues and pony leagues. Uh, but we basically needed a facelift. We needed to redesign the shell to try to improve uh, the style of it, but also the safety and try to get any kind of added features uh, that we've learned over the last 14 years and to make a better helmet. So that's where the System 7 helmet so comes one in. One of the first things you'll notice on the new System 7 helmet is the, the radically changed shell design. And you'll notice there's a lot of different corrugations, there's a lot of ventilation throughout the helmet, not only in the, the upper part of the shell, but also down along through the jaws and a large ear opening as well. These corrugations aren't just for style. It actually allows us to put a little more padding into the ridges, but also the structure of these geometric shapes really improve uh, the strength and the durability of the shell. So that we're able to make a much stiffer, much stronger shell with uh, the very same plastic we've been using for years. Another feature about the shell is that we've opened up the eye opening around the face. We did it for two reasons. One is to give the player more peripheral vision to either side of the face, but also just opening up the face area allows a lot more circulation of air to come in, so it makes the helmet a lot cooler when you're wearing it. Another feature of the shell is down along the jawline. We've, for years, have used our patented eye bar technology for our catcher's face masks and our batter's helmet face guards. And now we're bringing that technology into the, the design of the shell as well. If you look closely at it, you'll see that we have a ridge here, and that gives the shell a lot more strength and durability for a lateral impact, such as a backswing from a baseball bat. It also has a very nice ergonomic feel for when you're, you're grabbing the helmet and putting it on and off your head. It has a nice, very flat surface to meet with your hand, so it's very, very comfortable. Perhaps one of the, the biggest changes to the shell, it's very subtle, is that we've increased the, the, the length of the shell by about three quarters of an inch to an inch in length. And we did that for a few reasons. One is that players with longer heads, typically in the past, there would be a gap between the back plate and the end of the edge of the shell. There's never a safety issue with that, but we always just felt uncomfortable with it. It didn't look very good. So here we've just tightened it up um, a bit more. But the other reason that we increase the, the length of the shell in the back is that it allows the helmet to sit more square on your head. This extra amount of uh, shell basically allows the helmet to stay much more balanced. So now when you put the helmet on your head, it feels much more balanced. It's not pulling dramatically forward on your face, and there's not very much pressure on your chin. So it's extremely comfortable all the way around. We also redesigned the back plate of the new MVP 2500. One of the the main things we did is we created these bridges, and the straps run underneath these bridges. And the great feature about that is that even if one of the snaps comes undone, it's impossible to pull that strap through the bridge. So it keeps the, the back plate completely secure on the head, especially after you throw it on the ground, you know, after chasing a foul tip uh, or a play at home plate. Um, so it's a very, very good design from that standpoint.